bed because God gave you, you that to. house that that roof you got over your head. Mm -hmm. You got it because they gave you a start. Mm -hmm. Pay a little bit more homage than what you was a beautiful person. She oh my told God! You. Now you pulling my grandma in this. Well, my no, grandma no, 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 no. My grandma is deceased, no, and I I'm think you going, going a little too far. You going too far I pulling my grandma in this, though. I think I you went. I, went, I think you went too far bringing my grandma in this. My grandma is going to be glory. That was not mine. Yeah, but that. That wasn't was my cool. I mean, you I'm talking about you won't let me talk, okay? You won't let me talk. You won't, you won't let me talk. You won't let me talk. You she won't was let me very sweet. You know what? Be blessed because I can't get a word out. You too, baby. I'm always May blessed. The good Lord you bless and keep. I can't cuss her out. She's not worth me cuss her out. I'm not cuss her out. She's not worth me cuss her out. I'm not going back and forth for her. She sounds stupid. She sounds deranged. I just can't believe she bought my grandma business. You know, if she knew anything about my grandma, she would have knew my grandma was an entrepreneur. If she bought my grandma and said she would have knew my grandma is the one who spoiled me and gave me the world. And that's why I just couldn't understand where this is coming from or what it was going like. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother have always spoiled me my whole life. My grandmother did. You come in here telling me about with some individuals that you think did something for me that ain't did nothing for me, and I'm not letting it fly. I did something for myself because I had a personality. Don't take my personality away from me. I have a personality. Don't never forget that. Something that you don't have, okay? I had a personality. That's why the people knew me. And, um... We everybody bought something to the show. I bought something to the show because I have a personality. Period. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really think about the things that you all say out your mouth. And ain't nobody did nothing for me. I got out here and worked to have what I have. No one has given me anything. Um, you know. No one's giving me anything. I work like a dog and I'm still working to this day. I don't just lay in my bed. I get up and I make moves every day. Even if I'm laying in my bed, I'm still making a move. Um I say he blessed a child that got his own. So I'm never going to put out here in this world to make y'all think that if you run around and you leech off somebody, that, that's going to get you somewhere. You know, I work for Future as well. Y'all never bring up what Future did for me. It was just them people that did something for me. I think I did something for everybody. I think I was a great support system for people. I think I was a great cheerleader for people. I think that I brought something to people's lives. I think I still bring something to people's lives. And, um, that's just what it is. At the end of the day, God has got me where I am today. Everything that I have, I give all credit and grace to the Lord above because that's where it come from. It didn't come from people. Um, if you give people props on things that you have in life, when things start disappearing from you because people thought they gave shit to you, that's what would happen if that was your mindset. You can't bring that over here to me and try to make me feel some type of way about Shekana Joe. Well, Shekana Joe is a hard worker. Shekana Joe, get out here and get it. Shekana Joe is a go-getter. I got 24 hours just like you got 24 hours. In my 24 hours, I chose to make some good decisions. Um, I could very well say I was used, you know. I could say I was used, but I'm not saying I was used, and I don't have no problem with nobody. But what none of you bitches is going to do is discredit my hard work that I done put into this atmosphere. You would never, ever discredit my hard work. I had a job, okay? I was not sitting around just leeching. I'm a cosmetologist. I had a fucking job. No one gave me anything. I used to work off tips. I worked off tips, and I worked my way, and I did my clients, and I did what I had to do. I serviced all my clients that needed me. I was a good service to them, them girls, all of them. Not just this individual you're calling. Anybody who had an idea, I was a service to them. So I put in my good, good labor, you know, and God seen me putting in my good labor. And I have a word that I came out with on TV is I work hard, bitch, you know. So when you see him telling me something about me working, I work hard, bitch. I came out with that shit on TV. Man, you know I work hard, bitch. Anything I do, if I put my head to it, my mind to it, I really get out here and put my arms and my back into it. I just don't talk about it and throw hands around and put rules out. I go, I go be involved, you know? But you lying. If it wasn't for my mom and dad, I wouldn't have been born. And if it wasn't for my grandmother, Miss Smith, you know what I'm saying? 
I wouldn't be shit. You know, I come from a permanent family, right? You know, I come from a family that has stuff going on. This is the honest to truth. You know, like my family got shit going on. You know that, right? Do you know that, ma'am? You know, my grandma my own daycare centers. You know, my grandma own rooming houses. You know that, right? You need to go really do your research on who you be talking about because I don't think you know what the fuck you talking about. You know, my grandma really owned the daycare center. You know, daycare centers get money. You know that, right? I just thought I'd let you know, babe. My grandma owned the daycare center. My grandma owned several houses. My grandma was a motherfucking go getter. I'm not mad, girl. If I was mad, I would have been done blocked you. You mad. I'm not mad. I hung up because you won't let me get a word out. I'm not going back and forth talking to somebody who drowning me out when I'm trying to say something. You say something, then I can't say shit. That ain't going to work. But I want to let you know, I work for everything I got. Nobody ain't give me funk and I need to put a video out about how like I said, I worked for everything I got. That's why everything I got still standing here. My grandmama, though, my grandma ain't got nothing to do with this. And when you want to speak on my grandma, speak on my grandma as being an entrepreneur as an African-American woman. Speak on my grandma as service, service in her community when she was here. Speak on my grandma for holding it down for her and her motherfucking children and her grandchildren in her life. You speak on my grandma because my grandma was a fucking legend. You don't speak down on my grandmama. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Don't tell me nothing about what my grandmama didn't teach and tell me. You got me fucked up. Anybody in Atlanta, Georgia know my motherfucking grandmama. The fuck is you talking about, girl? You crazy. You done lost your damn mind, I see. I don't know what wrong with her, but y'all need to put some respect on this shit. Don't ever in your life speak on my grandma if you're not speaking on my grandma the right way. My grandma was a legend for real. I don't give a fuck about none of that. A real legend. You don't talk about what my grandmama should have told me. You don't put my grandmama name in this shit at all. My grandma was a fucking legend. You up here speaking by some more folks, you need to speak about her. Miss Smith, Miss Smith, Joe Evelyn Smith at that was a motherfucking legend. You hear me? I'll never forget that. Don't come here. Bypassing my grandma to talk about some more folks that ain't really did shit for me. My grandma was a legend, bitch. A real go-getter. You better go back in my family motherfucking history and find out what the fuck going on, baby. That's what you better do. You better go find out what's going on. Bitch, I was already known in my city, bitch. Everybody in goddamn Atlanta, Georgia knew me. Yeah, you talking about Miss Smith raised me better. Miss Smith did a damn good job for me. You see me and you see you, don't you? I can't even believe you bring up my grandmama, girl. You is crazy, bitch. And if you gonna bring up, put some respect on her name, bitch. Who she was, that girl. Who my grandma was, was that girl. That's who she was. The fuck wrong with with you, girl, you better go on, on, on. You better go find somebody to play with. <laughs> Don't never slip on Miss Smith. Miss Smith with that girl. girl. Grandma, I love you so much. I'm screaming all the way to heaven. You with that girl. And I thank you for all the knowledge you gave me, girl. Thank you for letting me be me, girl. Thank you for embracing me through it all, girl. Girl, I love you, girl. <laughs> it was me. Miss Smith, baby. I've been having cars and all that shit, girl. I got my first car when I was like 18 years old, girl. You crazy. <laughs> you ain't living across the street from my grandma, baby. Can everybody across the street from my grandma? We know. Girl, I always had my own room growing up. You know that? When I was a little girl, like five, six, seven years old, I always had my own bedroom. You know, when I I was a little girl, like when I got in like middle school and I wanted my own phone, I used to have my own phone line in my room, my own personal phone. What is you talking about? 
You know, all the shoes I wanted growing up, I had them. You know, I went to the beauty shop every other every two weeks to get my hair done for real. Like, girl, what are you talking about? I was a spoiled ass little girl. I was Miss Smith's granddaughter. I don't have no story like other people have. I can't say like I had to grow up and I didn't have this and I ain't had it. I can't tell you that because I'd be lying to you. My grandma owned a motherfucking daycare center. And she seen about I got their community and everybody in my motherfucking community knew my motherfucking grandmama. Before I even became a TV star or anything, my grandma was already that girl. I just need you to understand that and don't never forget that. Baby, I've been the plane since I was five years old. Four years old? I got on my first Delta flight when I was fucking four. You feel me? Back then, that's a big fucking deal, girl. You crazy? I was going to Vegas when I was a little girl. I was going to Biloxi. I went to Disney World. I went to Universal Studios. I stayed at Six Flags. Is you okay? I got to explain myself because y'all really be forgetting. Yeah, I really be forgetting. These people not bothering me. I want you to know the truth. I'm going to speak on my family legacy. It ain't bothering me. I just got to, I'm adamant about what I'm saying. I want you to understand what I'm saying. My whole, whole little life, baby, I was on, I, we had a video camera. I got video recorded my whole life. And real, real life video recordings of me as a child. I don't know if y'all had like a video recorder, like the camera that recorded. Oh, I was Ralph Child coat as a child. Ralph Child, bitch, with the, with the hat, the coat. Bitch, I stayed fly as a child. What is you saying? Stay fly as a child. You better. Girl, you better stop playing with me. Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. You hilarious. Show Liz. You hilarious. Girl, I did have a raw, raw child. I had a raw child coat when I was a little girl. Girl, you better stop playing with me, girl. And all of them. Sure the fuck did. Did I? Had a red one, a gray one. Had the motherfucker growing up in life. Had them on in real life. Some fuck I don't even understand what it is, though. But I had them. I was the first grandchild, your stupid ass. You know, first grandchildren be spoiled as hell. They be having it all. Huh. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? It ain't nothing I didn't do that I wanted to do as a child. My grandma take me wherever I want to go. Now I have to do something. I, I am calm, baby. I'm too calm. Come as a fool. You the one mad. I ain't got no reason to be mad at you. And <laughs> you upset, lady. I'm letting you carry on. You ain't blocked. You still on here talking. You still. I'm here running your mouth, bitch. And I'm still on here letting you know, bitch. I ain't upset. I ain't upset. <laughs> you upset because I'm telling your ass the truth, bro. Yeah, you got a picture of me and my little sister, right? It me as a little girl. You see, I got rings on, my little glasses, overalls. We look cute, but you see all my rings I got on my finger shit? They were real. You see me with the little dog. I sign ring. I had jewelry as a child that was real. 14 karat gold. Yeah. I'm just trying to find some other shit of myself as a child. Because you got me fucked up. <laughs> you got me fucked up. I want to find a video of me and my grandma who was in the kitchen talking shit. When I was a little girl and I would ask for some, but I had my Ralph child on. I want to find it. Video, I saw motherfucking dad, bitch. How want you to shut the fuck up? I used to be cute, and them surgeons did me bad. That's cool, so. But I'm trying to figure out why you worry about what I used to be. I don't fuck women. You ain't really got no been to worry about what I used to look like. Oh, I don't look like I don't fuck girl. Man, you can never have nothing going on. Yeah, 
I look, Cardi B ain't no business that. No, people, but they kind of like. That but just, it's it's not the same thing because I don't. I own a funeral home. See what I'm trying to say? Well, no, you TV shit can be lying. No, I but don't. I don't know about the TV shit lying or not. I never seen Pedro own her own funeral home. No shade. I don't know, but I never seen her own one. I seen her doing a funeral things, but. I, I've been doing stuff. I do a lot of stuff and I don't bring it out. I've been and did stuff for years on years on years and I don't say nothing to the people about what I got going on and then, you know, it is what it is. As you shouldn't though, right? Right, but when you telling me about me going after somebody else, I don't go after other people's dreams and what they do. I felt like this song God bought me into because I never ever would have thought that this would have ever been something that I would even be interested in. So when he opened the door to say, hey, this is what realm I want you to go in. I went into that realm because I wanted to be able to help other people get through times like that. It wasn't about the money for me. It wasn't about this for me. It was about just being there when people are going through it because people are hurting the most. I don't know what happened. Hello? I like to know that. Hello? A little piece of your real self, you know no. what I mean? Oh, I don't know about none of that. I'm always real. Oh, that's cool to know. Mm -hmm. Do you do makeup? No, I do not. Oh, we went off. Yeah, I don't do makeup. I'm not nothing like the rest Gemini's of Gemini's are normally real, G. We can't even fake that shit. It's either we like you or we don't. We hate you or we want I'm not like y'all Gemini's. I'm sorry, my own Gemini. Can I get a hair appointment then, G? Because this is how I feel. I'm my own Gemini. Like, this ain't making you no money. It ain't doing nothing for you. Why are you saying? I wouldn't, yeah, I would never get on nobody's platform to do that. Are you being like somebody else? I would never do that. You offended? I just I am offended a little bit because I just feel like where that come from? Why I just can be she kinda doing her thing. I she kinda got whatever she got going on. You ask me how my business going, I don't wanna say a business going good or bad when people going through hard time. That's the place where you trying to bring people out of their dark places because they don't went dark if they done lost the loved one. That part. Yeah, so I ain't looking at that like, you know. I don't know. I'm going to add you to my live, and if you don't pick up, I'm going to block you, too. It's a couple of y'all got to get blocked. It's a couple of y'all just doing so much. So um, when you get up here, okay, you didn't come, baby. You got to go make a new page because you got to get the fuck off of this one. All right. All right, all right, all right. Where we at now? I'm here. I'm reading the comments like everyone else. <laughs> Girl, that, that was funny. They really want to promote. It's so bad. Mm -mm -mm. But I don't know why we'll be in here telling you, oh, the business is doing this and that. That shit is so fucked up and cocky. I ain't here for that. Exactly. You saying the hate? Very much so. Because it's like African American women, we love to put each other down. Not just women, people. African American people, we love to put us down. 